Hi, my name is Marco Balderrama with BMW Kansas City South. I'm a client advisor here, and today accompany me on our appointment to look at the iX. Before we get started, I did want to go over a few things that you might want to consider when looking into buying an electric vehicle. The first one being your living situation, whether you're living at home or you're living in an apartment complex. If you are living in an apartment complex, you might want to talk to your property manager to see what options are available for you. If there's community chargers, if there's assigned chargers, or what your options really are. Let's say you live in an apartment complex and there's no way to charge your car. Well, maybe consider work. Many workplaces now have chargers for people with EV cars that are available everywhere. That is a good alternative to charge your car if there's nothing else for you. It's efficient with your time and you have that alternative. Let's say you do own a home, so you have one of two options. You have the level one, which is a regular outlet. You don't have to do anything. Just plug it into your regular power outlet. Or you have the level two, which you would have to have installed by an electrician or a company that provides that, such as Qmerit, which we are partnered with. The current car you're driving will help you as a reference to see which of the charges might work best for you, whether you're driving a gas car, plug-in hybrid, normal hybrid, or full electric, and that would help you reference as to how many miles you're currently driving, what your living situation is, where do you park your vehicle if you have a garage or if you park it outside of the home, and also how many miles it is that you're putting on your vehicle. If you plan to use a level two charger, you have two options. You have the flexible fast charger that comes standard with your BMW, or your wall box. That would depend on where you park your vehicle, is it outside, do you have a garage that you park your car in, and where that all lays out. And level one might work for you if you don't do a lot of driving. A level two might be a good alternative if you drive a little bit more miles and want to charge it every now. Here we have the all new 2024 iX50. This one is a blue rich mountain metallic color, which is one of BMW's nine available exterior options. You have six interior color options, four wheel options for a total of 216 different combinations. Competitors like Tesla only offer 20. You have the brand new kidney grill up here. It is self healing and heated. It's heated to be able to melt off the snow and the ice in the winter for your long range radar sensors and cameras that are used for your driver's assistance professional package. Competitors such as Tesla only use the cameras and they don't work as well in the rain or at nighttime. You have right here in the BMW logo, your washer fluid goes right in there. I'm going to come around this way. We have a carbon infused frame, which is lightweight, plus it improves the rigidity of the iX. Back part over here, you have your power outlet, your charger. If you look right here, you have a map that will tell you what each color indicator means. In the back over here. You have a compartment here where you can you can store your fax flexible chargers. You have the main one with the box. You have your level, level two, 220 volt, and your level one, 110. Other competitors, and most actually don't come with them standard. You have to purchase those separately. Come right this way. Go ahead and grab a seat and we'll go over the interior features. You have two different modes to drive your electric BMW. The first one being your D mode, your regular drive mode. Your second mode being your B mode, your regenerative mode. The regenerative mode extends the battery range and significantly extends the brake life, requiring less brake pads and road replacements. A couple of cool features about the iX, you have your head-up display, which has a lot of color, a lot of features that you can look on there. You have radiant heating, both here and here for the winter. You have the Harman Kardon sound, which has built-in speakers in these seats. And you have the electromatic sunroof in the iX. It's one of my favorite features. On the inside, you have this beautiful curved screen display which you can use touchscreen, or you can also use buttons for a healthy combination of the two. You also get the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is standard on BMWs. I drive eight 
comes with BMW's Intelligent Personal Assistant, which you can select by here. And there's a lot of different ways you can maneuver it. One of my favorite ones is, hey BMW, I'm hot. I'm lowering the temperature, so it will be more comfortable right away. Let me know if it gets too cold for you. You can do many things with the BMW app. You can check how much charge you have, how many miles will empty, lock, unlock, preconditioning. You can also go down and check the location of your vehicle or exactly where it's located. See some of the payment options as well as ch check on the charging stations where they're located around you. If you do plan to go with the level two, you have two different options. You have the flexible fast charger that comes standard with your BMW, or you can do a wall box. Depending on your parking situation, whether you park your car outside, whether you park it in the garage, and where that all lays to as what you want to do, one of the other options may work better for you. Battery range is a big question that we get, so there are some factors that play into this. The temperature outside, whether it's extremely cold or extremely hot, will affect the range that you get on your car as well as hills. Hills, whether descending or ascending, will play a factor in the range you get in the car and also whether you're driving city or highway will also be a factor as to what kind of range you're going to get with your vehicle. Charging times are going to have certain factors. The first factor being if your car is below 10 or above 80 percent charge, it's going to slow down the charging speeds. The charging station that you use is going to be another factor because different charging stations may have different voltages, therefore re resulting in slower charges. Temperature is going to be another factor, whether you have really hot or really cold temperatures and extreme temperatures, charging will slow down as well. And the last factor will be preconditioning. If you precondition your vehicle, it will charge at faster speeds, gets the temperature of the vehicle and the battery where it needs to in order to be able to accept the charging faster. On the iDrive, you can find charging in the settings. In this screen, it will tell you the charging mode, how fast you want it to start, departure times for the preconditioning. AC limit, so the limit and if the AC is turned on. Charging target, what your target to charge is. Unlock charger cable, fan loudness, preconditioning, and safe based and locations for settings for your charging. Preconditioning is super important for your vehicle to be able to have it charge faster and be more efficient when you are driving. Go into charging settings, preconditioning, battery. You have this screen, you can activate it from here or from your phone. The vehicle will bring the battery into optimal temperatures range so the vehicle can accept highest available charging power. This will help once again charge your car quicker and also be able to be more efficient on the road. Remember that BMW iX does come with two year 30 minute free charging stations at any electrified charging station. It is the largest EV charging station network in the United States. Prepping and planning is super important on EV cars, whether that's making sure you have enough charge to get to your destination, to make sure your vehicle is charged when it needs to be, whether it's to charge at faster speeds or to get more range out of your car, have it cooled in the summer. Let me show you how we can go about it. So make sure you go to your settings, go to charging, departure, plan. There's no time setup right now. You can do it one time or you can do a regular. So let's say I go to work 8.30 every morning. Go on here. Set that up. Hit OK. Now I can go and select. So here's a map so we know what our route is that we're going to take. Here's BMW. We start here, we make it all the way to the end of the stop sign. We take a right on 103rd, all the way to Warno, take a right, jump on 435 West, take the highway all the way down, exit on row, we go all the way down on row, take a right, that'll take us all the way back to in front of the river in the car wash. We'll take a right and that'll lead us back to BMW. I will demonstrate how to charge your car. It is very simple. Here I have a wall box. Whether you have your fast charger or your wall box, make sure you have that plugged in first to your outlet. Now you take this part of it, come to your car, make sure your vehicle is unlocked, push on your cover, it opens it up. And we have an AC here, so I'm going to unleash the AC. Just simply 
put that in there and you'll notice the lights start to flash. Once it starts charging, it'll be flashing in blue, letting you the car is being charged. Maybe the most unique thing about the BMW EVs is the driving modes that you get. You get the driving mode D and the driving mode B, which is single pedal driving and double pedal driving. Um, it's unique about it because most electric cars only allow you to drive in one. Uh, but BMW gives you the option to do both, which makes it a really good combination driving between the two, two different driving modes. So there you have it, the all new 2024 iX50 and all the options and features that it comes with. Let me know what kind of feedback you have, how we can improve the walk around, how we can improve our process and in what ways we can better help you and assist you and answer any questions that you may have.